Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Paula Jean. Grab your paper and pencil and let's get cooking. I found an interesting recipe in my magazine that Costco sends. So I am going to make it today. It is called Spicy Pineapple Strawberry Salsa and it would be delicious with chicken or fish or shrimp so let's get going all right it calls for two cups of pineapples let me move this onion away so I have a 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks they didn't have the tidbits so I'm gonna to have to cut this up and put it in the bowl. All right, let's speed up this process. Okay, there's my pineapple all diced up. Now, it calls for, let's see how many strawberries, five strawberries. So I have five strawberries already washed. There's one. I got my little dog here, Zoe. She's uh, sitting there thinking that she's going to get lucky and get a handout from me. Alright, I'm putting that in with the pineapple. Don't judge me too harshly on how I chop things up. I never claimed to be a chef. My youngest son is a chef. And uh, he would just cringe if he saw me. And if I was ever on one of those cooking shows, I would fail terribly because I always want everything cut perfectly, diced perfectly, everything the same size. Mm -mm -mm, that's not me. You know, another thing that this would go great with is uh, roast pork. And I just might serve this with that. I have a pork tenderloin in the freezer that I want to cook. Okay, my strawberries and pineapple are all set. Now, I need, where is the red onion? A half a cup of red onion. And of course I was gonna uh, slice this like it should be, but then as I started peeling layers away, there was mold underneath the, the uh, skin in some parts. I hate that. And 
Now I don't have the correct measuring utensil here, so I'm going to stick this in my Pyrex measuring cup and see. Just a little bit more. red onion is in there now. All right, I'm going to rinse my hands off because I have to cut up some jalapeno pepper. work too well when you got damp hands trying to put them into gloves. Who cares how they're on? I just don't want to get it on my hand. So here's my jalapeno, and I need one to two tablespoons. So let's see. I'm going to take out these seeds too because I don't want anything real spicy. But if you like spicy hot, then you can leave them in. All right, well. So you don't want to eat a piece of this if it falls. That looks good. Good for me, anyway. Okay. Now I need two cloves of garlic minced. I have this handy dandy minced garlic already. All right, that's about two cloves. And the juice of a half a lime. Now, I don't have any limes. They would rot in my refrigerator because I don't use them often, but I do have 100% um, lime juice. So I am gonna just put in 
Let's see. I'm going to measure that in tablespoons for you. Yeah, that's about right. You don't get a lot of juice out of a lime. So I have a tablespoon of lime juice. And we need some salt. Half a teaspoon of sea salt, but I have my Himalayan pink salt. And that's all there is to this recipe. Now I am going to put it in a glass container and put a lid on it and stick it in the refrigerator. And I'm not going to use it until tomorrow because I want all these flavors to blend. But that looks pretty nice. You would just think your grilled chicken with some of this on the side. Yummy, yummy. All right, there you go. That's taken from Costco. Their little Costco, Costco Connection magazine that I get. Right here. All right, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to tap on that bell so you'll receive a notification every time I post a recipe. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Stay safe and we'll see you later.